The covet by members of parliament demanding Mwenze Mwinzi denounce his U.S. citizenship to serve as Kenya's ambassador to Korea continues to elicit debate among the political class. Whereas one school of thought has argued the demand for her to denounce her U.S. citizenship was uncalled for, others have maintained the constitution requires she surrenders her dual citizenship status. A status that has seen opposition leader Raila Odinga come to her defense. In a statement, Odinga terms the demand by members of parliament as unlawful and aimed at killing the spirit of the constitution, accusing the legislators of petty politics and pushing partisan interest. A statement supported by ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi, who accused the legislators of double standards. They asked a few fundamental questions. How is it possible? that the Kenya government was ready to employ a CEO from Europe to head the Kenya Airports Authority, which is a security installation. Mudavadi, who has just returned to the country after a 10-day trip in the U.S., called for sobriety in the debate. Here we are saying that a Kenyan who has a constitutional right to have dual citizenship cannot hold an ambassadorial position, but we can confide and give all the details of the Kenya Airports Authority to a foreigner as a CEO. This comes barely days after EACC said it was conducting an audit for all state and public officers with a view of weeding out those in public office who enjoy dual citizenship. At the same time, Mudavadi has challenged a plot to manipulate the outcome of the upcoming Kibra by election. We say to them, don't panic. We are offering Kibra the best option in the candidacy of Eliud Okech Owalo. 22 candidates are battling it out for the Kibra seat in the November 7th mini poll following the death of Ken O'Koth.